we are gonna do our review for the Anderson Gen 3 um, ultimate hitch that we have we went all the way from Branson Missouri up to uh, Minnesota Wisconsin area so we had four travel days between then and where we are now yep. we both driven pulled it twice while driving yep Andrea did one by herself and the rest of you did as a pair I guess so I'm a truck driver and I'm used to pulling with fifth wheel hitches all the time and that's what we started with uh, so going to the go the gooseball type ultimate um, we lost so much of the chucking and all that shuffling starting at stoplights stop signs uh, on hills all that stuff the connection with the ball and the adapter is just so solid that you don't feel it anymore that that's kind of my biggest takeaway from it besides the fact that the hitch is 200 pounds lighter than what we had in the truck in the first place that's just amazing keep in mind we have a 44 foot um rig so it's we're not a small rig we're pretty big and to be able to get rid of a lot of the chucking from such a big setup um is just amazing yeah uh we a 44 foot toy hauler uh our, our overall weight truck and trailer is 28,000 pounds we we push the limit of the trailer pretty high and uh, it was it's just kind of a fun thing to try the new style hitch that we wanted the ride quality difference with the weight that we have it's a whole different situation we got a ram dually you know the, the cummins will pull about anything you want it to it'll push anything through a brick wall if you want it's the hitch i, I think makes the biggest difference with ride and there's quality of life on the road, uh, going place to place, bridge decks, potholes, you name it. The, the roads out here aren't great. I'm sure you can all agree Iowa with that. Iowa bridge decks, if you've ever been through <laughs> Iowa, I'm looking at your bridge decks, Iowa. If Iowa DOT is watching, Jackson, get your stuff Mississippi together. too. Fix your roads. <laughs> just saying. Um, speaking of the hitch and how easy it is, I was able to pull our rig, hitch and unhitch all by myself. First time ever with the Anderson Gen 3. Um, first time ever actually hitching our rig completely alone. I did it last week and it was so easy. Um, it took me three tries, but again, it was my very first time doing it by myself. So I am very happy with how easy it is to do um, being able to, you know, worst case scenario, do it on my own if she's not around. I'm happy that she can do it herself too because I did not get off of work early enough to move and uh, she was able to do it with really no questions asked. She nailed it. It's also super easy to install. So um, the other reason we absolutely love it is the fact that I can carry this hitch by myself. Um, we will we'll link some other videos of the install process, but it is so light that I can carry it by myself. Um, it's three bolts to torque, and it was very easy to torque. I was able to do all of it. Um, he just, you know, told me what I was supposed to be doing. Yeah, it was pretty nice having her do everything and me just sitting and watching. It, it's, uh, it's a whole different story when you can just sit and watch someone else do it and it's so easy. It's You're not ripping out 240 pounds of steel. It's 40 pounds-ish with the, with the um, bed shaft. It's just so simple. I would say something that was the most tedious um, in the install process was just doing the measurements to ensure that where the hitch is sitting, the placement wise in the bed of the truck, as well as um, the adapter did we want did the did it need to be back or forward or is that correct so that was probably the most tedious part yeah uh 
the measurement on our bed was really close, so we decided to put the uh, adapter to the rear of the kingpin, uh, just just for safety, just, just in case of the situation. It was so close because our we have a long pin box, and on the back of the pin box is the junction box for the lights, brakes, all that good stuff. Um, so we we didn't really want to risk it. We went the safe route. We got plenty of weight to throw it back the three inches that it, it went. We're not worried about that. It's just the the turning quality and just being safe. So we decided to go with the bed shaft over a traditional goose ball in our bed to connect the ultimate to the truck. Uh, basically because the bed shaft adds the 30% strength, 33% strength, I believe. Just be, uh, it, Hands down, smart. I mean, a, a goose ball is going to do the job, but the fact that the bed shaft was fit for the actual hitch made it a really simple and easy excuse to get it. Another thing we chose to add on, just for safety reasons, um, it's not a necessity, but we added chains in the adapter, which again is also in our install video that you can check out as well. Um, but it is right onto the side of the adapter. It, with those bolts, you can put the chains in, um, and that's just something we simply chose out of safety. It is not a necessity, but it's what we chose to do. Um, yeah. Not all states require safety chains. Um, I know California requires it. But Other states are, don't quote me, I don't know. We don't know where we are or aren't going to go, and I'd rather just have it. That way we can just chug along wherever we want to go. It's like having an added breakaway cable, just a little more security for us. We have a Kurt Rotaflex hitch, uh, the pin box, so we had to add the lockout kit. Anderson has a lockout kit for um, Rotoflex hitches. Uh, we put it on there. The only thing we had to do with ours was modify a couple little um, notches. notches into it because our pin box has two drop downs on the sides. It just wouldn't fit under there so we had to grind it out a little and fit right in. Works like a dream. Just yep. gotta snug them up and no issues. You nailed exactly what I was going to want to talk about as well. <laughs> I'm the man. You are the man. For once. Thank you. We just want to say thank you to um, Anderson Hitches for giving us this opportunity to try it out. Um, we are beyond grateful and we absolutely love that you allowed us this opportunity and we love being able to showcase that you can have an Anderson Gen 3 Ultimate Hitch with a big setup. We are not little, um, we're very aware of that. We knew going into it we would probably teeter right on the, the edge of weight, um, but we make it no problem so we would highly recommend the anderson ultimate especially gen 3 that's what we have um, just the added it's six inches of extra bed space from the gen 2 it sits about an inch taller with the lowest point of the ball it's a beautiful ride easy to install and just hauls like a dream i i wouldn't rather have any other hitch Don't be afraid to ask Anderson questions. They they answered our questions and all of our concerns the, the quickest that they possibly could, and it was amazing. We got all the information, all the all the knowledge we needed from them was perfect.